Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing week three of the Spotlight collab. So first off, we are going to be shouting out Rose318. And this is her channel. So she does a lot of um, Lazy Girl um, method with poly gel. Um, yeah, so she does a lot of poly gel work. And her work is super beautiful. And this is one of my favorite sets that she's done. Um, a lot of pink glitter. And I think these are stickers. So I really love this set. We're also shouting out Nails by Nessa, and this is the set that I really liked from her. Um, this was her last week's submission, and it was the tattoo um, theme. <laughs> and also, um, she does a lot of stamping, and she's really, really good at that, and I, I definitely do not know how to do it. Um, we also have Mama Does Nails, and she is um, British, so that's pretty cool. And this is one of my favorites from her. Um, this is her Medusa Monday um, video, so go watch that video. It's very pretty, lots of marble. Um, I love the length, and I love the 3D um, charms that she has. So go check out those three ladies out. I'll have their links in the description box. And today's theme is going to be Alice in Wonderland. So that's what we're going to be doing today on a set of Press On Nails. So I mixed together this complexion color by myself. So this is basically a mix of your primary colors to make a brown color and then mix it with white. So you get your red, your yellow, your blue, mix it together until you get a brown. And then I use like a dot of that concoction with a lot of white gel polish and it comes out to, to look like this. And I think it worked out pretty well. Um, back in the day when I was first starting out um, to make skin tones, I used to um, use orange and then mix it with, with black to make um, to make a brown and then mix it with white and then the undertones would be all the way off. So this way is more um, effective in my opinion. Um, yeah, so now I'm using yellow gel polish and this is by Nail Addicts. Um, it's called Bronze Me Baby and I'm just going to be doing her hair. Um, I did her neck. And I apologize, I've lost a lot of the clips from this because my phone is so trash. I have to buy a new one um, very soon. Um, but yeah, I don't have storage half the time. And then the other half the time, um, I'm losing clips. So that's a bummer. So I'm also going to be drawing her blue dress. And I think I used um, um, either Say Extra by Nail Addict or Happy Birthday by Nail Addict one of those colors so now i'm using my madam glam perfect black to outline some of the features like her eyebrows her hair um her nose i'm not going to be drawing in the mouth for her because um i thought that was too hard um so i thought it would look kind of cool if she didn't have a mouth like to be artsy or whatever so again, I lost some clips, but um, basically I was using Roslyn's um, gold, not gold, silver glitter gel polish to um, basically fill in her eyes to give it that like psychedelic look. So right now I'm going to be creating some drips. Um, I'm going to make it like a tie-dye drip kind of thing. So all you have to do is layer the colors that you want. So I'm kind of going in the order of the rainbow. So red, orange, yellow, um, green, blue. And then after I layer it how I want it, I clean off my brush very well. And then I just um, drag some lines um, vertically along the, the wet gel. You don't want to cure it in between. Then after that, you just basically um, add some gel, black gel polish to the open space. So on this nail, I'm just going to do a full um, tie dye. So it's the same concept as before, you know, layering your colors. They can be messy if you'd like. Um, they do not have to be like super clean cut. So I 
I finished doing all the nails and this is what they look like. Um, I'm kind of upset that the camera isn't really picking up how that red color looks. It's coming off a little bit more burgundy red instead of like the bright red that you guys kind of saw before. Um, in person it does look a lot better so the thumbnail kind of emulates what it looks like in person um, more um, accurately. But yeah, the colors are really, really off. And yeah, that's kind of upsetting. But it's it's okay. I'm going to get a new camera soon. Um, and this is a matte top coat by um, Ohuhu, I believe. So after I put this matte top coat, I'm going to put it in the light. And then that's the finished look. So again, please go follow Rose, Nesta, and Mama on their YouTube channels and also their Instagrams. I'll have everything linked down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.